Okay, guys. So, starting off, I don't want you to relax. So often with exercises or meditation, we make them other. We make them unnatural, unordinary. I want you instead to drift which is actually something quite normal, something you do all day, every day, where you kind of wander, you get lost in something. Even if it's just for a moment, it's the feeling of when you find yourself staring at a wall and your gaze gets soft and blurry and and you don't know where you are in that moment, not physically. That's what I want you to find. And you can find this standing up, walking around, eyes open, or you can do it lying down in bed or in a chair, eyes closed. It doesn't matter. So I want you to drift. And I want you to conjure up something that you desire to experience. Something that you want in this world some wish that in your outside world seems unfulfilled it can be small it can be big it doesn't matter so i want you to hold that thing or circumstance or situation or event or object whatever it is i want you to hold that in your mind in this kind of dreamy, blurry state. And I want you to create some kind of little scene around it. Some kind of little moment in time where you now have the wish fulfilled. You now have the thing that you want, that you desire. You no longer desire because it is now yours completely, totally. Don't worry too much if you can't see it sharply, clearly, like you can with some object in your 3D world. Don't worry too much about how high resolution the image is. Don't worry if the scene is a bit choppy, maybe it cuts in places. That's fine. Give yourself the tones of reality. And what I mean by that is anything that for you makes this scene feel real. So maybe it's a time of day. Maybe it's a way the light is coming in through the windows. Maybe it's the temperature of your of the room in your imaginary scene. Maybe it's the clothing you're wearing or something you've just eaten or something you're eating. Maybe it's, maybe it's your energy level or anything, anything that makes it feel normal, like life. Don't be too ambitious with this. Don't try to make this into a superhero movie. Just let this be an ordinary day in your life and you have what you want. You're experiencing exactly what you want. And just give yourself over to that. If the scene is short, that's great. Just play it over and over. Play your favorite parts over and over. And feel as much as you can the sensory, sensory feelings of that. Now, in this situation, are you thinking you're imagining? Who are you identifying with? Is there a part of you that's going, well, this is nice, but this is illusion. And back there, on my bed, on my chair, in my body, that's real. Is there a part of you that's that's holding your physical self 
as bigger, higher, more important, more, more real than this imaginary scene. If you can, I want you to switch it. I want you to flip that idea. I want you to suspend the possibility that this imaginary scene, this this imagination is reality. This is where you live. This is actually what is true. This is where everything is born from. This is who you are. This person who is experiencing through imagination. This imagination is all you are. And so this scene is real. You do have what you want. And it was available to you the entire time. This is what's real. And from that place, what does this scene imply about you? There's nothing to change but self. You change yourself and your world has changed. So within this scene, having finally been granted your heart's desire, what does that mean about who you are? Doesn't mean you're deserving. That you were right to want the thing. That you're allowed to have what you want. That you knew what you were capable of. That you're powerful. That you're loved. That the world is a safe place. That you are safe, that you are enough. What does it mean about you? Who are you? Within this scene, who are you? Really what you're allowing by giving yourself what you want you're allowing your true self to come through. This is who you are. You can stay here as long as you'd like. And you can come back to this scene anytime you want. Or if there's variations you'd like to play out within the same theme, you can do so. But for the purposes of this, I want you to come back. You know, refocus. But stay a little soft. Stay a little soft. And now that you're back in the 3D and in your physical body, that feeling should still linger. There should be something new about your world. If if you've done this correctly, things should look a little different because you have changed yourself. You found yourself. And from that place, how do things look? How do things feel? What's different? There's nothing to change but self.